it's Miss Tiffany. Today we're going to work with the number seven. Go ahead and grab yourself a whiteboard or a piece of paper and something to write with. Let's start with writing the number seven. To write the number seven, you're going to make a line going across and then a line going down. Across, down, across, down. Let's look at the word for seven. The number word for seven is S, E, V, E, N. Seven. Let's take a look at this 10 frame. To fill in the 10 frame for the number seven, we're going to draw seven circles. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what the 10 frame for seven looks like. Let's look at base 10 blocks. We have one, a group of 10 looks like this, and this block represents a hundred. When we want to show the number seven with base 10 blocks, we need seven ones. Tally marks. Whenever we have a group like this, this represents five. So right now, we have five tally marks. We need to count on from five until we get seven. So we have five, six, seven. This is how we show seven in tally marks. Number line, can you find seven on this number line? Seven is here. What number comes before seven? Great, the number six. What number comes after seven? The number eight. Let's take a look at this hundred chart. Find the number seven on this chart. The number seven is here on the top row. Let's count by five, and we're going to stop at 50. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now let's skip count to 20. When we skip count, we skip a number. So we're going to start with two. We're going to skip the number three and go to four and so on. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Good job. Let's talk about place value. When we have the number seven, that number has seven ones and zero ten. Even or odd. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Even numbers are great. One, three, five, seven, nine. Odd numbers are fine. When a number is even, everyone has a buddy. 
When a number is odd, someone is left without a buddy. So is the number seven even or odd? This guy right here does not have a buddy. So that makes seven an odd number. Let's talk about money. Here's a nickel. Do you remember how much a nickel is worth? A nickel is worth five cents. How about this coin? Do you know what it's called? A penny. How much is a penny worth? A penny is worth one cent. So when we want to make seven cents, we can start with a nickel. Here's five cents. And then we're gonna count on six cents and seven cents. So for to make seven cents, we need a nickel and two pennies. Regrouping. Today we have seven straws, and we're going to get to make a group once we have ten. So if we have seven, how many more do we need to make ten? Let's count on. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need three more straws, and then we'll be able to make a group of ten. Let's count six, seven puppies. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Time, because we're talking about the number seven. Our clock today says seven o'clock. The shorthand is the hour hand. It's pointing to the seven, and this long hand is the minute hand. It's pointing to the 12, that's seven o'clock. And this is what it looks like on a digital clock. Let's practice some addition and subtraction. Ways to make seven. Remember, seven is our target number, so we want that to be our answer. Let's start with our first problem. Three plus what number equals seven? So I already have three here, so I can count on until I get to seven. So three, four, five, six, seven. How many did I have to add? Four. Three plus four equals seven. Let's look at our next addition problem. Five plus what number equals seven? So here we have five. So let's count on until we get to seven. Six, seven. We had to add two. Five plus two equals seven. Now we're going to subtract. And we're going to use the strategy of counting backwards. Nine minus what equals seven? So we're starting off with nine cubes and I'm gonna take away until I get to seven. And we're going to count backwards as I cross out each one. So we have nine, eight, Seven. I reached seven, so I'm gonna stop there. How many did we cross out? Two. Nine minus two equals seven. Let's 
try one more subtraction problem. 11 minus what equals seven? So let's start with 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. That's our target, so I'm gonna stop there. How many did we cross out? Four. 11 minus four equals seven. Wonderful, it's time to erase the face. Does it show seven? Yes, this is seven. This is what it looks like on a 10 frame. Does it show seven? So right now we have eight. If I cross out one, does that leave me with seven? Yes, eight minus one equals seven. Does it show seven? Five, so we have five in this 10 frame. Five plus one, if I add one more, does that give me seven? It does not, this gives me six. This does not show seven. How about this? Does it show seven? Yes, it does. There are seven straws. Count this money. Does it show seven cents? No, this is only six cents. It does not show seven. Does it show seven? Yes, this is the number word for seven. this does it show seven yes it does we have three on the top four on the bottom three plus four gives us seven you erased the face great job you guys did an awesome job today i'll see you soon for our next number mm -hmm.